Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Mozzie Royale. Welcome back to another pro 1v1 match. Today, we're on a map called Vendetta, and we have two very, very high-level players for you. Up in the north, we have the orange player with the GLA Demolition. This is big size. All the way down in the south position, we have the green player with the GLA Tox. This is Vivid. So both players considered some of the best in the game. Both players have an expert badge on the Game Replays website. Uh, but Vivid is probably favorite to win here because his uh, GLA is just sublime. It's just insane. He's the one opening with three supplies here. And he has the Tox versus the Demo, which I think most people will be favoring the Tox. You've got cheaper um, technicals and you've got stronger... Uh, scorpion tanks than the demolition both of your quads are as expensive as each other but this is a kind of a bad situation for vivid because he's done his box a little bit too tight he knows it cancels his uh, fake barracks because that worker was going all the, way, all the way around the side it's usually uh, boyka that is doing that actually big size is going for a tnt something that demo will often do to try and get an advantage against the tox because there's advantages that I mentioned before. Not only are your tunnels stronger, your RPGs are better as well. Big size coming in with a big TNT is going to hit this supply. And then probably get a few crushes as well. If he escapes, that will be excellent. Does not escape though. That technical actually got the last hit. Gets a vet too and gets himself a grenade tech as well. It's not really a situation when you find yourself in with the enemy's got more highly vetted technicals and grenade techs. Because you find that player then has a big advantage running around, gaining the uh, gaining all the map control and stuff. Because it's the technicals that deny map control, and if you've got a stronger blob of technicals, then uh, yeah, yours tends to lose, and then you lose your workers and stuff. Nice denial there from Vivid, because that would have been a really strong position for size. It would have meant he had a flanking position on the left and on the right. Currently, the only forward position he has is this forward tunnel here. But it is keeping Vivid very occupied. Vivid is dropping down now a second arms dealer. It is a fake. You will need to upgrade it. It costs like 1,875, something like that, to uh, to upgrade it to a real. Big size coming in now with a lot of technicals, but the defense is here for Vivid. Size is coming in with another TNT. Hits the supply once again. Absolutely perfect TNT. Did lose one technical. Left some scrap behind. But he's also getting in and killing some uh, Vivid's workers. This is actually a very good start for size. Would like to see him get on a third supply as well. He's getting some map control in the middle, but the game is fully controlled by size at the moment. But the pressure is still on size to keep controlling the game because as soon as you let Vivid build up and start doing his own thing with the two arms dealer spam of scorpions and stuff, you're going to be um, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to need defensive demo traps in places probably. Probably now is roughly the right time to be dropping down just a few demo traps here and there. I don't know if Size is going for another TNT. I think he is actually, yeah. He's ahead in XP. But the thing is that Vivid's got a stronger technical army, I'm pretty sure. Got more veterans to here. Sizes are all vet one. Vivid also has RPGs inside of there as well. Size does as well, though. And it's a complete trade-off. But actually, Size comes out on top. Whoa. It's the scrap the name with a fake arm stealer. That's weird from, from Vivid. Is that indicating he's uh, playing a little bit slow today? I'm not playing it on his A game. Scrap the name with a fake arm stealer. I don't think I've ever seen that before, actually. Size gets another TNT off. This is uh, actually crazy. He's already nearly on 1,000 XP, and Vivid's only on 319. But Vivid is still very much in it. He's getting himself a second oil. Uh, he knows that Size is going to try and deny this. So he's bringing Scorpions here in advance. He does not have the Scorpion rocket upgrade just yet. Usually you see the little white rocket on the side. Size coming in the Toxin Tractor. Evac from Vivid. Oh, unfortunate there for Size. But he did distract Vivid enough to actually come in and deny the Rebel. Yeah, I'm impressed with Size's play in this game so far. He's fully controlling the game. Vivid's defense usually is more on point and quicker than we've seen. You know, like every TNT so far has hit. Size did outplay Vivid a little bit there as well. 
Yeah, usually Vivid is more sharp than this. But if it depends on the time of day they play, because Vivid obviously lives in Malaysia. So usually when size is on, like in the evening in the EU time, which would be like, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the evening, 7 o'clock in the evening, something like that. That usually is like 3 a.m. Vivid time. So you never know if he's playing 3 a.m. Vivid time or if he's playing his evening time, which is more like our, our lunchtime at 12 o'clock midday on, on a weekend usually. So yeah, you never know. So, Size is ahead with a supply, but Vivid is ahead with one oil and a pretty good defensive setup on these oils as well. Vivid now bringing uh, forward a radar van. He's checking for demo traps. So, yeah, I said make demo traps, but actually, if there was one there, at least, it wouldn't have worked. This is now where Size needs to uh, think a little bit differently against these, against these scorpions. That one there is a little bit weak, but that one's just gained a bet one from the tunnel kill. Size might be coming in with a TNT. I oh, know it's TNT on the oil actually, and then Vivid's gone back. Okay, it's actually quite well handled from Size. A little bit weird that he just got scared off by uh, a couple of scorpions and whatever, but that TNT hit uh, for Size, and uh, Vivid's building a palace. Size also building a palace, so actually very even in terms of the tech. Still even in terms of the money, but I suppose size is slightly ahead with that supply. On the left, probably outweighs one oil. Okay, big scorpion engagement now. Size coming in with another tech RPG, I think it was. Just ran to his death, though. I think Size is going to lose this engagement just because the Scorpions here for Vivid are stronger than fire the Toxin Shells. He's also got RPGs dotted around in this as well as support from this bunker. Size losing ground now, and this is the moment that Size has been uh, probably dreading, like trying to control the game, control the game, keep Vivid from doing this, from doing this big spam. Another tunnel is going up for Size, and once that palace is up, it's going to become a lot easier. Demo bikes, demo Jarman for sniping them, just picking them off. Yeah, mainly demo bikes just running into these big blobs are uh, really, really strong indeed. Uh, Vivid is only collecting on one worker here. Two workers now. But those two there are idle. And he is not collecting at all. Has that been hit by another TNT? So yeah, Vivid... Yeah, look, he's pulled all of his workers. That's weird from Vivid. He's pulled all of his workers. They're not collecting. What a mistake there from Vivid. You see what I mean? He's just not as sharp today. He's like... Just a bit weird, but I mean, he's still doing okay, though. He's still pushing this position. Size coming in with a lot of scorpions to try and defend against this. Massive scorpion trade off here on the right side of Vendetta towards Size's base. Vivid is pushing and gaining ground. He has realized now about his workers, what, what whatever he did. I think he slept, if you select one worker and double tap E and then click somewhere to do something. All of the workers will be pulled, and I think, yeah, it took him a while to realize that. But that has probably cost him a lot. It's probably cost him a few K, you know. This is the moment Vivid has been dreading, the moment where the demo bike starts streaming out, because one demo bike can wreck, like, four of them easily. Yeah, and it does. It literally just wrecked four. Another scrap denied there from Vivid. Did he lose a fake arms dealer there again? Well, not again, but did he, did he scrap denied with a fake arms dealer and actually lose it this time? Size is getting pushed off this supply, though. This is an important one because these crates are all chunky by 5.5k each. Size is holding, though, so far. Yeah, Vivid really wants to apply the pressure on this side. Still, I think Size can just detonate a worker and kill that scorpion rather than chasing it with demo bike. Mistake there from Size. Weird from size, honestly, that he's not pressing I on one of these workers because it will kill it. You could have you could have spent two hundred dollars on a worker, suiciding then rather than five fifty for a demo bike. But I think his high level play so far throughout this entire game since the beginning, we will let him off for that minor mistake. Size on his on four workers on his main. He's dried up on the left. He's moving all of them over here, but actually they need to go into his main. Or might be better on here, like going around the back and collecting and stuff. 
rather than oversaturating that one on the left that's going to be dried up soon, no doubt as well. But Jarman versus Jarman, very close to Vivid Stunnels. So I still losing workers. Size of Jarman needs to be careful because there's toxin shells. Oh, that's a nice little hit. Yeah, Size will take that. I'm sure he saw that as well. He would have been paying attention here and he definitely would have seen that Jarman go down. So, yeah, he probably feels more free with his, his own Jarman now that he can snipe some stuff. Size didn't actually achieve anything. Then that scorpion's still alive, but it goes too close. Another demo bike coming in for size weakens this tunnel. There's a few weak tunnels here at the minute. Size looks like he's preparing a battle bus. He had them RPGs for a while. Battle bus does pop out. I would just like a few demo traps, like maybe one there, one there. You know, just out of Vivid's range a little bit. Maybe like just one there. You know, just because it only costs two hundred dollars. Even if you, whatever you hit, it, it has definitely paid for itself. Like if you hit a scorpion, that's like what? Is it 650 or 700 for demo for, for Tox? Sorry, 650 for Tox. Plus you get the uh, the XP from it as well. Jarman dies to the enemy Jarman, which is... I don't know if he's in that one or that one, actually. Wow, Demo Rebel Ambush there from size. Glad we were in position to see that. It's the Scorpions and yeah, advantage size at the minute, I think, in terms of that battle. But Vivid does have a lot of markets though. Yeah, Vivid hasn't been able to gain ground on the right-hand side like you would have uh, enjoyed doing. Uh, size, dotting his markets around. I think he's just slightly behind Vivid in terms of market count. Vivid has no oils. That one obviously got TNT. I think we completely missed that one, actually. But Size has been enjoying an extra supply throughout the majority of the games. So that probably outweighs a couple of extra markets that Vivid's got. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But a lot of these are fake, so I suppose. I don't agree with building like four fakes at a time. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with that. The, the, the reason you build a fake and then upgrade it is to better manage your money. So you build like one or two fakes. You've only spent a tiny bit of money, like just over a thousand. And then you upgrade them later on. If you're building loads of fakes, that they don't bring in any money, and you still got to spend like the best part of 2k upgrading them, like 1,800 to upgrade them. So yeah, I, I don't understand building loads of fakes unless you're trying to bait out support powers like a Spectre or A10 or maybe a Scud Storm or something like that. Obviously against the USA's or or a GLA, whatever. So, one, two, three. He's got a Scud Storm building, four, five. Right, we'll just count the reels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, probably soon to be nine if he upgrades one of them fakes. Eight v five markets, but Size has got a Scud Storm on the way. So I was getting a lot of bounty money as well from these decent kills on the Scorpions there. Wasn't that great of an attack there for Vivid, to be honest. So Vivid's still collecting from here and on his main. 19,000. 7,000. Just look, that's the impact. <laughs> that's the impact, man. 
of all them pulled workers at that time and also blocking part of your collection so the workers have to go around look look where that worker's going for example just lost a lot of rpgs there probably to a downed battle bus big size is gaining ground now with the with the buggies One buggy there if size gets picked off. There's two battle busters here though. Size is getting a little bit too close to these. One, two. Only two buggies lost. As long as size makes vivid pay here with a battle bus, then it's actually kind of okay. Two buggies for one battle bus. You'd probably take that. Okay, vivid Jarman is reigning supreme. Where was Sizer's Jarman though? Did it go back inside the tunnel or something? Rebel Ambush is on top of Sizer's buggies and wipes out three of them. Size building more markets, so he is catching up. See, that one's been fake for ages. Like, what, what was the point in building a fake and just having it fake for ages? Them Ambush used for big size kills, two buggies. Would have been nice to get a little bit more than that, but I suppose Vivid doesn't have that much stuff, actually. Uh, bit of a questionable decision there from Vivid. Loses the battle bus. But he does gain the ground, though, and stops that bunker. He has got four more units seemingly inside of his tunnel. Bit of a fight over the buildings now in the middle, which hasn't been a fight over the middle buildings for a while, actually. Uh, Vivid has a Scud Storm of his own up now. And a second one. Vivid is under pressure on the left. Size going a little bit too close to these buggies, in my opinion. Living life on the edge. There's, uh, get them all out alive, though. I think that's the first Scud Storm, isn't it? That's obviously the second one that's still building. But size hasn't been able to collect the additional money from here. We did get Vivid Jarman, the Amphrax bomb, but not a lot else. Well, nothing else. <laughs> oh, looks like you got two RPGs there as well. Size is Jarman still running around. Needs to be careful he doesn't run into the Amphrax though. Uh, size could have been gifted a load of free kills then if he'd popped some stuff. Oh, he's coming in from the bu with his buggies from the side and actually kills a lot of Vivid's buggies. Remember, um, Size's Skid Storm is going to be more powerful. It hits harder than the Tox one. Size build on his market spread around the map, which I like. Vivid's a little bit concentrated, like one Skid Storm there could wipe out those three. Size needs to be careful, man. He's going a bit close to this um, Amphrax. But Vivid's clearing it for him. I don't really understand how that jump is still alive, honestly. I think maybe Vivid just saved Size's Jarman. Okay, Vivid creeping forward on the right, but Size is still reigning supreme with these mass of buggies basically vivid just doesn't seem to have enough units out to fight him at the minute vivid's lagging behind an xp so i should have sneak attack although i haven't seen him use it just yet
Yeah, I find that a bit weird, not using sneak attack like pretty much straight away. Does he not have the radar scan ability? No, he does. He has pretty much all the upgrades as well. He literally has all the upgrades. AP rockets, buggy ammo, junk repair. The demo upgrade he's obviously got as well. Vivid might be a little bit scared, actually, of the demo rebel ambush again. I think it's still on cooldown from when he used it over here, but he's probably like, in the next 60 seconds, he's probably going to be able to use it again. Scud Storm has fired from big size. Where is that going to hit? It's going to be on this one. I don't know if it kills it past the hole. Does it leave it to the hole? Yeah, it leaves it like to the hole. Sadly, didn't kill the radar van as well. That could have been annoying for Vivid. They're using your map vision. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. So Vivid is going to get to five or skits in 58 seconds because obviously he built two. That worker trying to rebuild actually dies to the tox residue. Yeah, size just reigning supreme in his buggy engagements. Just well, mainly because every time Vivid gets up his numbers, he gets demo ambushed, and it kind of resets him. The, the the one previous one he killed like two buggies, but that one killed a lot. Vivid now with the battle bus on the right. Gets himself a couple of buggies with the help of this Jarman here. He's living life on the edge. Size is pushing him back everywhere, though. Vivid's definitely feeling the pressure. You know, like, he's been surrounded by on this side for ages. Uh, he's getting pushed back here now. He's been pushed out in the middle completely. Feel Vivid, uh, Vivid's pain a little bit here. Just like when you're getting pushed back from, uh, from all sides. It's difficult. Skedstorm coming in on the palace of a big size. That might be one what. One way to take the buggy lead. Yeah, Vivid's only got like, what, four buggies out? That's big size of Jarman. Oh, but Vivid does have two battle buses, though. I'm just so confused why we haven't seen a sneak attack yet. Look at this Jarman, man. He's been on 1 HP for ages. I wonder if Size is going to get overconfident here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, Vivid wins the engagement. But is that Jarman going to die anyway? Yeah, he dies anyway because living life such on the edge. He did snipe a buggy, but it probably would have been more beneficial to run away. Because he has to spend like 1500 on replacing him now. That's more than the value of that buggy. Uh, Vivid's got himself on three Scud Storms, though. I'm building more markets. This base is pretty beefy, actually. It's got quite a strong economy. Three Scud Storms. Size is going to fire his Scud Storm next. Size rebuilding his palace. And a barracks, apparently. A lot of must have lost his barracks to the Scud Storm. There's the sneak attack. And there's the Anthrax Bomb. If that Anthrax Bomb hits all of them buggies... No, it's not, though. Size has got another group of buggies. Size is, the, like, literally the master at doing that. Of keeping, in GLA, in GLA games, he will keep his main army, and then he'll always have a backup army to go back inside a tunnel. Some people will just keep a full tunnel, and that's it. But this is a, a monster attack from Vivid, and if Size takes a lot of damage here, like all these markets, he could end up losing the game. Here comes the Anthrax bomb, actually, from Size. That's going to uh, stop this attack in his tracks, isn't it? But those two battle busters, though, are running around causing problems. This Scud Storm is in danger. Is Size going to be able to save it? He's not. He has to sell it. Has to sell it. It's that battle bus there that's causing the problem. Surely he has to sell it. Uh, okay, Size. Size knows best, man. Size knows best. Just needed, like, one more volley of rockets from the, from the Gamma bus. 
And that would have been finished. Yeah, that's well handled by size. I'm just confused, you know. Size was level five, like way before Vivid. Like, why didn't he do that? Like when he when he used his Amphrax bomb. I suppose his Amphrax bomb didn't achieve that much. He could have like, I don't know, timed his Amphrax bomb a little bit better on top of um, Vivid's uh, buggies. Waited until he had Demo of Ambush as well. Killed a lot of his army with that, and then done a sneak attack. And Vivid would have been in real trouble. I'm just confused where Size's sneak attack is, or is not. <laughs> So size in a little bit of recovery mode at the minute. He's actually down two Scud Storms. Whoa, Rebel Ambush used on top of Size's buggies. Maybe Size detected that was coming. Size losing more markets here. Like Vivid's gonna take too much of an economy lead, I think, if Size continues losing markets at this rate. It doesn't look like he's replacing all of them that he's losing either. Size is going to fire his Scud Storm now. Th this moment here could be the last time that Size has a big advantage. I mean, because you get into fire a Scud Storm and you've just defeated Vivid's armies twice and you've got um, a big buggy lead at the minute. So now, now is an advantage. You need to strike now, I think, and do something. Because Vivid's still going to be rebuilding his army, but Vivid has the economy to rebuild his army, so you need to gain the ground now. Size is doing that. He's uh, gaining a load of ground on the left. He's getting some XP here for his uh, his buggies. I mean, some veterancy. Just so needs to be careful he doesn't lose things to random RPGs. What is Vivid doing at the minute? He's think oh, there was the sneak attack. Keeping Vivid distracted while Vivid is losing ground on the left. A lot of tunnels being killed. He's probably got Rebel Ambush now, Size. Do you reckon? I don't know when the last time he was... Last time he used... Oh, no. He obviously used it to finish that skirt, didn't he? Vivid is pushing forward with a Tier 1 army. Uh, where's the... Pal uh, Palace is still alive. Yeah, Size needs to pick off these things. This is... To just to even the playing field, because he, he hasn't replaced all the ones he lost before. Loses one there. Vivid now coming in with some kind of a defense. Crazy game, really. Crazy, crazy game. Whoa. How the... How has Size suddenly got... Now, four Scud Storms. He literally had one a minute ago. This shows how much attention I've been paying to his base. Size lost a lot of stuff there. Bad pop there from Size. Buggies are weird sometimes. They just look like they're still alive. Size living on the edge a little bit with that buggy. Size gaining ground with his uh, tunnels. Oh, Scud Storm actually hit Size's base. Uh, and his palace is dead to so that army that pushed him before. Size has seemingly still got a load of buggy skid. Oh, he's built another palace. Another Scud Storm now going to fire for Vivid. I don't know which one it is, but we will watch his view to figure out where he's fired it. He's going to hit there. So I was just backing off a second inside of his tunnel just in case. You never know where it's going to hit. It's going to hit inside of Sizer's uh, main base hit. Part of the production. Killed the radar van, which makes him lose vision for a second. It is annoying to even though all these pro, pro players and expert players are used to playing with no radar, we pretty much play 100% of games sometimes with no radar. You literally play a 20-minute game without radar just fine. Which some people are surprised about. But when you, on a big GLA mirror, when you've had it for so long and then it gets taken away, it is annoying because you you spot attacks maybe a few seconds later than you normally would with a, with a radar. Um, size so losing a lot of ground here, and I think that's good. Storm needs selling. Yeah. Crazy, really. Size losing a lot of ground here. But he was just gaining a load of ground before. But Vivid is killing important stuff. Like, he's just killed a Scud Storm. He's killing more and more markets, whereas Size is not replacing these markets. Sneak attack from Size, but it's an awful position. Really would have been better, like, here or something. At least it keeps Vivid busy for a second. 
Maybe he's actually making AP ammo quads. And Frag's bomb comes in. I think Size is dead. I think Vivid's just done it. I know he's still behind in Skid Storms, but Size, like, his production is screwed. Oh, Size, you're running through the Anthrax. What are you doing? Okay, he escapes. He's got another radar van. Size has to sell that supply. He's, he's done a good job keeping that supply alive pretty much the entire game, but you, could, you can't beat Vivid's production now. He's on three arms dealer spam. He's got AP ammo quads. Size has, like, what, four buggies. He's coming in with another Anthrax bomb. Is this going to delay the uh, inevitable, or is it going to stop Vivid in his tracks and enable Size to regain some momentum? A lot of tox residue everywhere. But Size is losing important buggies that I think he's going to have trouble replacing because his production is literally screwed. Size now makes the toxin tractor. Size got a Skid Storm to fire. I think you don't have really a choice. Usually the production isn't always the best thing to hit. But I think you don't really have a choice but to hit the production right now. Yeah, look, look, he doesn't have a choice. Yeah, Vi I told you, man. Vivid GLA. <laughs> Even though Size was playing stunning, like the first opening minutes, he was completely controlling the game. Every TNT hit, he reached level 5 sooner. I do feel a little bit sorry for Size here because it's not like he put in a bad performance. He actually put in a really, really strong one. I just feel like his economy isn't going to keep up. I think um, maybe a few things he could have done a little bit better, like... Uh, when he got level 5, he should have done a decent sneak combined with a decent Anthrax Bomb. His Anthrax Bomb did nothing, and his sneak attack was way late. Way too late. Sneak attack back here ages ago is what was needed, because them, uh, them markets are the problem. Another Scud Storm is fired now this time from size again. It's the production again, but has Vivid already got too many units out? And Vivid can straight away just start producing from the other arms dealers. He's got a Neville back up there. Size so still in and fighting. I just wonder if his economy can keep up with this. He's got like, what, three, four, five, six markets? Vivid's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine ish, maybe ten. Here comes a sneak attack from size. That's the decent, most decent position one he's had all game. It's not going to do anything, though. There's been a few times where Vivid had minimal units out, and I think a sneak attack could have done, could have done some work, or maybe one in the game. Yeah, I think Vivid's economy just too great now. Size even losing his CC. Jarman versus Jarman. Yeah, Size loses it. Yeah, Size under so much pressure. Yeah, Size gonna lose his new production in a minute. Such a deadly combina combination of units. The Scorpions go up front and tank the damage. And the buggies back it up. A nice mix from Vivid. And this is with a Vivid mistake as well. You remember when he uh, pulled all of them workers and like he didn't collect like an extra 10k on his supply that Size already had collected? It was uh, That was like a, a Vivid 80%, I think. <laughs> But I think Size played that like almost flawlessly, a 90% flawlessly, just a few little tweaks, I think. Maybe the, yeah, the, the, the Anthrax bomb could have been better. The, the sneak attack needed to be sooner and actually in a de decent position. Um, maybe a few demo traps here and there, but probably weren't too much needed. Maybe one, one or two on the right could have stopped Vivid's attacks a little bit easier if he had done them a little bit sooner. Size did TNT the oils pretty much like straight away and denied them. For, for ages as well, that denied that top one. So that was good. Size had the supply advantage for ages. Uh, yeah, I feel a bit sorry for Size because he actually did very, very well.
but uh, still not enough for what I consider to be a subpar vivid. It was a little bit slow in the beginning. Pulling all them workers was a massive mistake. Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting game. GG, let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Well played to both players, and I'll see you in the next one.